today we're looking at analytical reasoning tips that will help you become a better analytical thinker. I've talked about the entire analytical thinking process in the past, so today we're going to focus on the areas where people have the most problems when it comes to analytical reasoning. Thanks for joining me today, I'm Jen. In the last video about analytical thinking, I talked about the four steps to the analytical thinking process. There, identify the problem, determine the problem solving approach, analyze the problem, and then solve the problem or get an answer. Most people spend the majority of their time on the third and fourth steps of analyzing and solving the problem. However, spending more time on the first two steps of analytical thinking are going to make you better at analytical reasoning and often are going to lead to a faster solution to your problem. Let's talk about each of these a little bit more. First, identifying the problem. This is an analytical reasoning skill that most people haven't spent that much time developing. Part of this is caused by the way our entire education system is structured. We're used to being told what we're supposed to be solving for. Yes, there are some cases on SATs, GREs, and certain classes where you're taught to think more critically and taught to determine what the problem is, but the vast majority of education, both at the elementary, middle, high school, and university levels, is focused on presenting you with the problem and asking you to solve it. You might be given a little bit of information here and there to throw you off, but in general, there's not a lot that you have to do to determine what the problem is. When it comes to real world application though, the number of variables shoots up dramatically and the clarity usually goes down. This makes analytical reasoning even more critical. So how do you go about improving this skill? Look for clues as to what needs to be solved. Ask yourself, how is this part of a bigger picture? Is this a problem or is this just a symptom of the problem? For instance, if you have a fever, the primary problem isn't that your temperature is high, it's that there's some infection or something going on in your body that your body is trying to fight off by raising your temperature. If you just lower the fever, that's not really going to address the root cause of what's going on. There are times when you have to treat the symptoms because the symptoms themselves can be dangerous and can lead to other problems. But the majority of the time, you still go back to trying to solve the root cause of what caused those symptoms to occur. Once you've identified your problem, the next step is to identify how you're going to solve it. What are the tools, techniques, and methods that you're going to use to solve this problem? Is there data that you need to solve this problem? It might seem like once you know what the problem is, it makes sense to jump straight into solving it. Spending more time on a good strategy though can make the whole process faster, and it often causes you to think of factors that you might not otherwise consider. This is one area where it can be really helpful to take a sheet of paper or a whiteboard and sketch out what's going on. Visualizing the problem can help you see where you might be under or over analyzing certain factors in it. It can also help you to more quickly pick out what tools and data that you might need to be able to solve the problem. These analytical reasoning skills are great no matter what position you're in or even if you're not working. The strategies I mentioned help you get a big picture overview of what's going on and should also help prevent you from having to resolve the same problem multiple times. This is because you're really fully addressing the problem the first time by understanding the entire context. Want to learn more about analytical thinking and problem solving? Like this video so I know that it's a topic that you want to hear more about. Leave me a comment if you have any questions about analytical thinking, specifically on the, these first two steps of determining what the problem is that needs to be solved and what method you're going to use to solve it. Thanks so much for watching. Stay tuned for a future video where I talk more about the third and fourth steps of analytical thinking.